In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to move all of your photos in Google Photos from one Google account to another Google account so that all of your photos will be permanently stored in that other account. And there are a few ways that you can do this where you download all of your photos to your computer or something like that and then you can upload them all to the other account and those methods work perfectly fine, but it does mean you have to sit around for quite a few hours or maybe even days waiting for all your photos to download and upload. But with the method Timmy's going to show you in this video, you never actually have to take your photos off Google Photos. You're just transferring them directly from one account to another account. All you need to do is Open up the Google Photos app on your phone or tablet and make sure you're in the account where all your photos currently are, not the account where you want to transfer your photos to. And then tap on the profile picture in the top right hand corner to bring up this menu. And in this menu, tap Photos Settings here. And now you want to tap Sharing in this menu here. And in this menu, tap Partner Sharing. And Partner Sharing is actually a feature that's meant to be used to share all of your photos in Google Photos with your partner. But it can also work quite well for transferring all of your photos from one account to another. So to set it up, you get to choose a starting date. You probably want to leave it set to all time so that all of your photos get transferred. But if you want, you can tap here and choose since a specific date. So maybe you want to transfer all of your photos since 2020 or something like that. You could do that. But to me, it's going to leave it set to all time. And you can also choose what photos to share. But the only options are all photos or only photos containing selected people. So you probably want to leave it set to all photos. And don't worry too much about if there's going to be double ups, like two of the same photo between this account and the new account, because Google Photos is usually pretty good at identifying double up photos and getting rid of double ups so that you only have one of each. So it doesn't matter if you have the same photo in both accounts, you should only end up having it once. So now, once you've gone through these few options, you can go ahead and tap select partner down here. And now you'll need to enter the Google account email address for the account you want to transfer your photos to. So if you start typing it, it should come up. So in this case, we're transferring it to demo.techtimewithtome at gmail.com. That's its own Google account, so we can transfer all the photos to there. So we'll start typing demo, and it should hopefully come up. If you've never shared anything with that Google account before, you might have to type the whole thing, but it should just come up like that, and you can tap on it. And now, all you need to do is go ahead and tap confirm. So now you've sent an invitation to your other Google account, to access all your photos, but you're not done yet. You still have to go into that other account and bring them all across. So if you tap on your profile picture again in the Google Photos app, and this time tap on this drop down arrow here next to your account, the other account that you're transferring photos to will hopefully show up in this menu here of all the other accounts that you're signed into on your phone. If it doesn't, you can always just tap add account here and it'll basically bring up a normal Google sign in page. So you just sign in with your email address and password and you might have to tap agree and a few things like that. But it's just a fairly standard process you go through to add another account. And once your account's here, all you need to do is tap on the account that we're transferring the photos to. And now, if you make sure you're in the sharing section of Google Photos down here, you should see this invitation 
saying that the other account wants to share photos with you. So you'll just need to tap on that and tap accept to accept all the photos. And it will prompt you to share all of your photos back with the other account because it is meant for partner sharing. But for this case, there's really no reason to do that. So you can just tap the cross in the top right hand corner, top left hand corner, and tap exit and discard to get rid of that. And now you will see all of the photos from that other account in this account here. And that's kind of all you need to do. You can actually see all the photos, but they're still not actually in your Google Photos library. You're just looking at them while signed into this account and they're still on the other account. So to bring all of these photos from this sharing section into your new Google account's main photos library, so that you just have all the photos in there, you need to tap on this cross to get rid of this message here. So get rid of that. And now there's an option here that says turn on auto save, which basically means any photo in this shared section here will be saved to this account's photos library. So we'll tap that and choose all photos and tap done. And now all of these photos will be added to your Google Photos library. So now if you tap back here and tap on photos over here to see all your photos, you'll now see all of those photos from the old account in this Google account. So this was a demo account, so there weren't very many photos in there. But if you had thousands or tens of thousands of photos in your old account, they should now all be in here. And now you're basically done. Now all of those photos have been brought across. But the photos we've just moved across actually won't be taking up space in the new Google account. They'll only be taking up storage space in the original account. And depending on what you're trying to do, that's probably not really an issue. And it might actually be a good thing because you can kind of split the size of all your photos across two different accounts with two different storage quotas, if you want to do that. But if you need to free up space in the original account for something, or you're not going to use the original account at all anymore, and you don't really want to be using storage on that account, you can actually now safely go and delete all of these photos from the original account and then they will stop taking up space on the original account. And when you do that, they'll still be in here on the new account and they'll start taking up space on the new account. And once you're done, you can also turn off partner sharing if you want to, because all the photos in that other account have already been saved to the library in the new account. So if you turn off partner sharing, it won't really make any difference. But if you do that and you don't delete the photos from the original account, you will effectively be using double the storage because the photos will then take up all the storage in the original account and the storage in the new account. So they take up storage quota on both accounts. Whereas if you have partner sharing on, they'll only take up storage in the original account or if you delete the photos from the original account, they'll only stake up storage on the new account. But that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and to me, I'll see you in the next one.